Thank you. 
the Son of God. But he did not express that to Christ. He only expressed that to the Lord. I'm not worried that he did with you. And Christ says to him, from now on you will become fishers of, fishers of men of men. That was the moment that Christ took his apostles and came them in that particular moment. And after that, the seven is that he came forward. But today we're talking about a very difficult topic. But it's also a very simple topic. Depending on how you do that. Depending on how you make it happen. Talking about the golden rule. I remember when I was a kid. At my map, especially with my mother. The mother in my house always flipped around with my mother. My father was looking, just with a look at my father, I was already afraid. <laughs> it had to be. And believe me, Puerto Ricans are hard on that. I'm a baby woman. And I'm pretty sure those who be raised in my time, they probably had the same way, the same method that my parents used. There was no uh, that uh, policemen were going to come and arrest my parents. If I do something like that, they would probably kill me. Honestly. All right? Maybe some people that might think that's a mistreatment, but no. I don't think I was in the street. In my case, I needed that. And my brothers and sisters needed that too. But the one that kind of was swooping around was my mother. My mother has a big sandal. And you could hear my mother every time you do something wrong because you hear the sandal passing by. You know you're in trouble. They were living for you by the full name. Not just they used to call me when I was a kid, Carlitos. Good part. So when my mother used to call me Carlos Alberto, means I'm gonna hit you. That's basically the beginning. And if you were not close to by, she just to take the sample and shoot at you with the sample. She came pretty good. I don't know what she, she could be in the minutes. But she really hit me. And I thank God because of that. Because in these days, we have such a, not so much issues concerning about the raising of children. Now you cannot talk to me. You don't know which way because there's always this problem. There's always this attack. There's always somebody that try to understand and try to bring some kind of a meaning just to make sure that the child can continue to live their own stability. But no. I thank God because of that. And sometimes if we're not careful enough with the people that we love, our children, right? The parents are supposed to be taking care of their children. But taking care of many other ways, taking care of teaching them how to pray, taking care of teaching them how to behave, taking care of teaching them that things are not coming from heavens all the time, and you have to work hard. I'm teaching them to become a family. I'm teaching them to eat together, supper. And many people right now, they're not even following them. Parents, most of the time, are probably working both of them. And by the child, when he comes home, mama doesn't want to cook because she's tired. And they don't have that family of being time, which is very precise and important for the children to raise. With fear of God. Because I knew about parents that they were not even Christians. And they have this type of understanding. 
But the Christian people, sometimes they kind of lack a little bit of it. Wondering, but it's very important for us to understand and teach our children. Because our children right now, if you not realize, they are trying to be indoctrinated to schools with the wrong teachings. You got to help us. Thank you. 
get themselves ready for the moment that they want to be passing away to the next life. But basically, we all can go. But these people, these men or women, they came to Christ in a lasting way. They went very hard. They went very hard. But that is also, for us, an example of how we should live in our homes. From our families, our children, our wives, our husbands. How important it is for us to have a mind, a clear mind to understand and pray. Because we pray, not because we are good. We pray because our Lord has got to have mercy on our soul. To give us the strength, to give us the inner peace that the, man, that the world cannot give for Christ looking. But he says, I give you my peace. Not but the world will give it to you. To my peace. And he asks each one of us, very cross, stand straight, follow, deny yourself. This is the golden rule. Understanding that we must do for others what we want people to do for us. But sometimes we're not going to be able to achieve that. But we need to try. Over and over, day by day. Asking God to help us. Asking God to illuminate us. We'll be able to be aware. He says that the regular people do good to the Lord. How is it supposed to be for us? Good for everybody around you, surrounding you. Good. I do not expect anything good from you. Only expect from God Himself. I will bless you. I have been guiding you. I have been leading you. I so will open the doors of heaven. And one day you will be able to reach into the kingdom of paradise. That's what we hear. Preparing ourselves for the next life. Because we have to stay here forever. Just like our forefathers before us, our ancestors, great grandparents and parents and so forth. Some days we will go to the presence of God himself. And what will we tell them? How will we confront that? We need to have a heart, like the psalm says, Psalm 50. An open heart. If we have an open heart, God will remind us. God will protect us. God will keep us ready to confront him in the next life. The moment that we're supposed to be the king of the past. It's amazing if you think about that. We're going to hear us now. We're not going to stay here at all. And I pray to God to be merciful myself. I pray God to be. And may be humble. I pray God to make me a simple person. I pray to God to make me understand that I cannot prepare myself at all for any of those who have given their life for the service. As we pray to be able to achieve, to enter the kingdom of heaven. In home, in 
loyal, intelligent, respectful, honored. The things that sometimes this world is lacking of. So one day we can be able to see face to face the holy angels, the archangels, the seraphim, the cherubim, the apostles, the mom of God. Christ himself in the throne. And we have to glorify him, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the age of ages.
says that everywhere. May the Lord God remember me in the wall with power forever and to the end. Amen. Fathers Joseph, John, Peter, Sadiqan, Charles, Patrick, Monks, Augustine, Daniel, and Choir Tracy, John, Mark, Dennis, David, Alec, Kevin, Jason, Isaac, Alex, Adam, Ryan, Blaze, Luke, Richard, Hakeem, Vladislav, Hakeem, Stefan, Elena, and family, Cindy, Selena, Isaiah, Joseph, Arctic, Camille, Harry, Denise, Angela, Ogle, Michaeli, Mike, Kadesha, Alex, and family, Elena, Chris, and family, Leanne, Melanie, Janice, Julie, Zila, Robin, David, and family, Nicola, Dwight, Rubina, Chris, Paul, Jean, Chris, Suzanne, Ove, Vicky, Mary, Bill, Teresa, Rebecca, Gabby, Mercy, Monique, Johnny, Douglas, Bernie, Antoinette, Eric, Jacob, Anastasia, Clinton, Alexander, Merrick, John, Adelaide, Mike, Lenora, Larry, Alexander, Alexandra, Sharif, Antonella, Arthur, Sophia, Nicola, George, Maureen and family, Edwin, Julia, Greg, Carol, Kobe, Stephen, Kirby, Eloise, Henry, John, Danula, Shirley and family, Cyril, Sakari and family, Tony, Rima, Michaela, Anka, and all our people suffering from war in Lebanon, Palestine, Ukraine, and Syria, and all the homeless and faithful of St. George Orthodox Church. More than the departed servants of God, Father Constantine, Ukum, and James, Mother Isabella, Michael, Zuela, Christopher, Cremita, Evgeny, Lulu, Rose, Dan, Paul, Marcel, Zoe, Toder, Helen, Lynn, Lorna, Hilda, Arton, dependent the departed of the Valerian family, Ken, Bacher, Randy, Karen, Kenneth, Elias, Mama Alice, Edgar Douglas, and all the departed loved ones of St. George Orthodox Church. I and all the work of those Christians. May the Lord God remember us for his kingdom always, now and forever, and unto the ages of
Good morning. We have some announcements for you real quick. Isaac will start us off. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just a few quick announcements. Um, one of them being that Please God Father John will be back with us next Sunday. He will be here at the liturgy, performing the liturgy, so just be prepared for that. Second thing, the Young Adult Ministry of St. George Orlando will be having its first bake sale fundraiser, Please God, on Sunday, October 20th. Uh, so please bring some cash on hand so that you can donate to us. Third and final announcement, as you may know, uh, there is ongoing war in the Middle East, in Lebanon. Please pray for the country of Lebanon and her inhabitants. They are facing major bombardment from Israel. So please pray for them. We have a lot of Orthodox churches in Lebanon. Please pray for the churches. And I believe the Archdiocese is accepting donations to send to Lebanon. Have a great day. Two more things. Uh, one is the catechism class will start uh, once everyone uh, gets uh, Father Juan finished with the blessing and everything in this kind of area the way it has been. The last thing, of course, is I would like to invite you all to join us downstairs for coffee and refreshments. Uh, we'll have a great time uh, together on, uh, celebrating the Lord's Day. And thank you all for coming today. Uh, Christ is in our midst. <laughs>